let's talk about user defaults in the Etsy Scale directory. Here I am in Home Student, and we're going to go ahead and create a user. So I'm going to do that with the add user command. I'm going to go add user and do this with me, add user underscore Iron Man. It's going to prompt me. I'm going to create a password for Iron Man. I'm going to hit enter five times here. One, two, three, four, five. Is this correct? Yes. Okay, so now let's CD to Home Iron Man's directory. And let's do an LSALH. Now you can see that we have, by default in this new user's directory, a dot bash logout. We've talked about that, a dot bash RC, and a dot bash profile. So these right here perform a pretty important function on the system. We're getting color coding. Um, we have a lot of different, like when the user interacts with the system, a lot of that is going to be pulled from the user's home directory. So where did those come from? Well, they come from a folder called Etsy Skell. So let's CD to Etsy Skell. Let's take a look at what's in there, L-S-A-L-H. And you'll see that they have the same files. So this is a vector. This is a place where someone who has sort of compromised your system would potentially place files. So let's add an alias for a new user and just kind of show how that might work. So I'm going to do a pico.bashrc. Do that with me. And I'm going to do a control W. I'm going to search for the word alias. We've talked about aliases before. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add an alias. Let's add one that isn't necessarily malicious, but I'll do alias uh, and we'll call this hello world. Let's do an alias ls. Alias ls equals, and I'm not going to do anything super malicious like rm, you know, delete something from the system every time you type ls. But let's do echo one, two, three, four, five just like that. So whenever you type ls, this will be the first thing that's checked and it's just going to echo something back to you. Make it look like that. Hit control O to save and control X to exit. Let's add a new user. I'm going to add user Spider-Man. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So now when I do an SU Spider-Man, I'm like, okay, what's an Etsy skull? And I type LS, it prints one, two, three, four, five. So every time a new user is created now, we've got this sort of malicious piece that's been added to the new user creation. Now this could be used uh, for good as well. Obviously there are things you may want to add to every new user's folder, but uh, for purposes like, I don't know, Cyber Patriot competition, definitely want to check here. One of the folders that you want to check, I'm going to exit back to root. And uh, one of the common things that will be added here is this folder, mkdir.ssh. So it'll look like this. Now in this .ssh folder, we can include keys that will bypass password authentication. So you can change your password all day long. Somebody who's got the corresponding key for what's inside of .ssh will still be able to get in. So that's a common one to kind of look for in Etsy Scale um, and get rid of. We'll talk about SSH authentication um, with public private key later on in the course. So this can also be changed as well. So Etsy Scale, you may go into Etsy Scale and verify that all of these files are good and everything looks good. But when you create new users, it may not be using Etsy skill. Now there are two different ways to create users on a system. You can go add user. It's more than two, really. You can go add user. But there's another command called user add. And you've got to account for both of those, right? So for user add, if I were to pico Etsy default, let's CD to Etsy default. Actually, I'm going to CD Etsy default. And all of these files are important default files for the system. And you want to take a look and we should get in there and look at as many of these as we can. There's one at the end here that's called user add. So I'm going to pico user add. 
when I come down here, you can see that there's one that's commented out that's the scale directory. Well, we can change that. And we can make it anything we want on the system. So Etsy scale looks good, but maybe we are serving from var, you know, my folder and everything is being copied from there to new users, right? So that's if the user add command is utilized, it'll check this file. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna save that. But let's um, look at what happens when you type add user instead of user add. That file is in etsy add user.conf. So pico this, because there'll be a grade, if you're in my class, there'll be a grade, you'll want to do this piece. And uh, we're gonna come down here and you'll see there's a directive for scale. We have users home directories, lots of things that we can sort of modify in here. All of this should be fairly standard. Let's change it. Let's change it to var home dir. So modify that. We're gonna save it. We're gonna exit. Okay, and let's cd to the var folder. And let's create that. I'm gonna go mkdir home underscore dir. Just for good measure, we've talked about chmod before, just to prevent any problems. I'll chmod 777 this. So we now have a folder inside of var called home dir that we were referencing in add user.com. Well, let's cd into home dir. And uh, if I do an ls here, we can see that there's nothing. Pico something, let's call this hacked file dot sh. We'll make it look like a script, why not? And I'll just write, this file has been compromised. Compromised, there we go. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna exit. Okay, so you should have all of that set up. Now you're gonna to wanna to test this one time. But once you've tested it, you'll call the instructor over for the class. And you'll do a demonstration. So let's test it one time. I'm gonna add user Sue. We'll go through our standard add user process. And let's cd to home Sue. I'll do an ls and we'll do an ls hyphen alh and we'll see that there's nothing in there but this hacked file.sh. So we know it works. Okay, so you'll raise your hand, you'll call the instructor over and you'll go through that process. You'll simply add a user, whatever it is, you'll cd to the user's home directory and if the home directory has hacked file.sh in there, it's been compromised, uh, you will get full credit for this checkpoint. Let me put it, let me show it to you on paper. And here's what that checkpoint looks like. Student creates a new user and demonstrate that there is one default file, hackedfile.sh, in the new user's home directory. So that's a good one to keep an eye on. Appreciate your time. And uh, once you've got credit for that, it is time to move on. Thank you.